Hey, it's Rick. Uh, Rick from killedwithintent.com. I'm coming at you with another video today. This one's gonna get pretty good because we'll be talking about uh, the release of Angular 5. Yes, you did hear that correctly. The release of freaking Angular 5. I can't believe it's been another year. Last year around this time, I just got back from a conference and I was talking about the release of Angular 2. Everybody was losing their mind because Angular 2 was released. Now, look at this, 2017, Angular 5 has been on beta 6 up to this point. It's gonna be released here pretty soon. They don't have an official date, but it's going to be released. And you know, some of the things that I talked about when Angular 2 was released, some of those things still apply. And if you're wondering what, what I was actually talking about uh, for Angular 2, is I want you to go here on the channel and there's gonna be a video on the top things you need to know before you use Angular 2. Go check that video out because I go ahead and talk about some of the things that I talked about in multiple videos, which is uh, the death of projects and you know, how to anticipate change how to deal with change and then how to phase out old, old libraries such as Angular 1, Angular 2, Angular 3, Angular 4. I don't think there was Angular 3. Angular 4 and then now we're off to uh, Angular 5 and pretty soon we're going to be off to Angular 6 and Angular 7. And by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about and you don't know why Angular has been changing versions so much, uh, there is actually another video here you can go ahead and check out on my channel called uh, Semantic Versioning where I go ahead and talk about extensively how semantic versioning works with a node because node went through the same process too when they went from like 0 0.8 to like node 7, node 6, all these different changes. So if you want to know how semantic versioning works, I have a video here on this channel you can go ahead and check it out 100% uh, free. If you want to know more details about the expansion of uh, using different semantic versionings, there's another video too that I created on uh, jaceacademy.com which you can actually go ahead and see, uh, which I expand on, on semantic versioning, how you can use that on your own software projects. And again, you can just head over to Jace Academy and check it out there. But yeah, Angular freaking 5 is here. I'm excited. I'm actually gonna be using it for one of my clients. And we're actually gonna be uh, creating a pretty extensive project that's going to involve you know multiple things and we're going to be using Angular 5 at essentially an enterprise application something that's you know well above 60,000 lines of code and obviously that's server side and client side not just client side client side is going to be far less but uh, something to, to that scale where it's going to include multiple developers is going to include multiple testing uh, multiple use cases multiple things and that is uh, the the you know that is the use case where angular really does shine it isn't you know oh i'm gonna go ahead and create this small little thing which is where most people try to fit you know put angular in and it's not that's not where it actually shines it shines where it has uh you know multiple people that are there to uh take advantage of some of the features that are actually you know designed for for angular not just using it in the wrong place so if you want to know what i'm talking about the wrong place i create another video here you can check out uh, spas and when to use spas. I have a video here on the channel you can go ahead and check out, which I think I called it how Angular bit me in the butt. <laughs> you can go ahead and uh, check that video out. But that's gonna go ahead and cut it here for this video. If you're excited about Angular 5, I want you to drop me a comment below and tell me, yes, I am excited. That's it. Yes, I am excited. Drop me a comment below. Tell me you're excited about Angular 5 with the comments. Yes, I am excited. And I'll see you next time.